Hey there, students. Still having trouble converting word form into standard form? Have no fear. Mr. Brescher is here. We're going to take a quick look first at a step-by-step -step process that you can follow in order to find your answer in standard form. Let's look at step number one. Step number one simply says that if the word and is in word form, then we're going to place a decimal in its place. Simply replace that word. Step number two says the words in front of the word and will actually be written as the whole numbers. So they will be to the left of the decimal. Step number three. Write the words behind the word and to the right of the decimal. So they're simply going to go to the right of the word de of the decimal plate. Now, when we look at step number four, it is a pretty difficult step. But what we simply do is look for the last word. And that last word will tell you the place value of the last digit that we have. Let's try a couple examples. Working through step one, you can see again we're converting from word form to standard form. We look at our sample and we can see that the word and appears. We're simply going to replace this with a decimal and move on to step number two. Step number two. The words in front of the word and are whole numbers. So if I look at these words in front of the word and, they should be my whole numbers, 22. That means two tens and two ones, 22. Moving on to step number three. Step number three, write the words behind the word and just to the right of the decimal. So I look for the word behind the word and, and I come to this one, five. I'm simply going to write it to the right of the decimal. Moving on, step number four. Step number four says the last word will tell you the place value of that last digit. So when I look at my last word, tenths, I know that my place value of the last digit should be in the tenths place. If this were five hundredths, then I would have to erase my five and fill the tenths place with a zero and place a five in the hundredths place. But fortunately, with this example, we have five tenths, so I will write it back as it was. Let's take a look at a couple more examples and see how we can also write it when there is not a word and. The first example I have is 64 thousandths. You'll notice, again, by writing this word, we're skipping straight to step number three. We're writing the word or number, the word form, we're converting it to standard form, and then we look at the last word, and that tells us the place value of the last digit. 64 thousandths means that I must fill in a zero in the tenths place and put a decimal point in front of that. Again, looking at the place value chart, we can see right here what the place value of that last digit is. And one more final example, if we have positive and excuse me, not positive, if we have numbers to the left of the decimal and to the right of the decimal, we can use our step-by-step -step process once again. Finding the word and and placing a decimal in its place. Then we look for the words in front of the decimal, and we see 34,000. That means that the four should be in the thousands place. Just like we would do to the right of the decimal, we will do the same to the left of the decimal. So I write 34,000, and then I move on to my step number three. The word behind the word and is five. So I write the number five, 
And finally, my last step is looking for the place value of that last digit. Five falls in the hundredths place, so we must replace or place a zero in the tenths place to give us 34,000 and five hundredths in standard form. Well, I hope this helped you out.